Dude, I wouldn't even perform these records. Yeah, you didn't even tour it. It was so painful after it didn't work we out. broke up. It was the biggest heartbreak of my life. And I honestly felt like I was going to die. Jennifer Lopez always keeping it. This time about her 2004 breakup from now hubby Ben Affleck. It was my first kind of heartbreak. It was my first like adult heartbreak. And in a new interview with Apple Music's Zane Lowe, Jen says that heartbreak took a toll on her music. Dude, I wouldn't even perform these records. Last week, the singer announced she's releasing a new album, This Is Me Now, in 2023. This is me then. This is me now. Yeah, it's a follow-up to her 2002 album, This Is Me Then, which she released while she and Ben were in a relationship the first time around. You know, the album with this classic, Ben, Jen's co-star in the music video. That album, This Is Me Then, really captured a moment in time where I fell in love with the love of my life. Yeah. Me tweaking the lyrics with him, like every single song that we wrote there, me writing Dear Ben. It was such a special moment in time to have captured. Are you guys ready to get used to seeing us again? <laughs> but fast forward two years, and Benefer ended their engagement in 2004. And Jen says it was too painful for her to play music from that record. It was the biggest heartbreak of my life. And I honestly felt like I was going to die. And it sent me on a spiral for the next 18 years where I just was, you know, couldn't get it right. It's funny because when me and Ben got back together, he said to me, he was like, you never performed the songs. Like you never did, I'm glad. You never did this. Wow. And I was like, you're right. I said, it was painful. It was like, it was a part of me then that I had to put away to kind of move on and survive. We were about to get married, it didn't work out, and it was just a bad heartbreak. Like, you know, just one of those breakups that really, you know, it was like a tough one for me for whatever reason. But get this, Ben's a big fan. He loves that album. He loves that music. He knows all of the words, you know what I mean? And he's my biggest fan which is awesome and, uh, and supporter. What can I tell you? We're just having a good time. And since the two rekindled their romance in 2021 and tied the knot a year later, JLo says new music naturally came next. And when he came back into my life, again, the same thing happened, where I felt so inspired and so overtaken with emotion that it is just pouring out of me. I think what I, what the message of the album is very much, if you were wondering, if you have, like me at times, lost hope, almost given up, don't. Because true love does exist. We're super happy. And Benefer 2.0, they're in it for the long haul. There's no questions and there is no kind of like, well, let's see how this goes. Like, nope. It's me and you, that's it, all the way, till the end, that's it, it's going to be us. <laughs>